Hi, this is Pastor David Rosales of Calvary Chapel of the Chino Valley, California. In the Gospel of John, chapter 6, verse 67, John wrote, Then Jesus said to the twelve, Do you also want to go away? This is a question that I believe can be asked of any who have come to faith in Jesus. It is a question that can come in various ways, but I've become convinced that in the life of every believer, this question will inevitably be asked, do you also want to go away? It can come in a season of pain. It can come in a time of confusion. It can come when least expected, but it is a question that will one day be asked of every believer. This question came to me when I was a young believer. I was around 25 years old, and I had gotten to the point of where I just wanted to give up. I'm not sure why I wanted to throw in the faith towel, but so many things had piled up on me at that time that I had just gotten to the point of breaking work, college, teaching two Bible studies a week, an emotional letdown, plus an assortment of other concerns had just pushed me over the edge. I'd gotten to the point of just wanting to give up. I just didn't care anymore. I didn't have the strength to even try to push myself forward. I can still remember my mother's face when she and I were talking, and I told her that Christianity was a good philosophy for some, but it just no longer seemed to work for me. She was so upset, and understandably so. I had led her to the Lord in January of 1971, and here it was, November of 1975, and I was talking about walking away from Jesus. I had been teaching Bible studies in my parents' home since September of 1973 and had shared many times about the love and faithfulness of God, the purpose of trials, and how God would never leave you nor forsake you. I knew these things were promises of God found in Scripture, but for me, it seemed as if the heavens were brass and God had turned His face for me. I had somehow become convinced that God loved other people, but He just didn't love me. So I told her, Christianity just doesn't work for me. As she walked out of the den, I felt terrible. I didn't want to be the cause of stumbling for her, and yet I honestly was so depressed, I just blurted out what I was feeling. A couple of weeks passed after that conversation, and I can still remember as I was seated on a couch in the den with my Bible open next to me, I didn't want to read it, but I picked it up, began reading the Gospel of John, chapter 6, and I came to verse 67, and I read Jesus' question, do you also want to go away? I really can't explain it very clearly, but I must simply say that I knew God was asking me that question. I remember praying, God, where is there for me to go? When I got saved, I lost all my old friends. I'm in Bible college. My only dream for the last five years has been to one day pastor a church. Where can I go? There's nowhere I can go. These were not words of faith and love. They were confused, angry. I was frustrated. I felt like I was, I was stuck. I had no alternatives. After speaking these words, I continued reading the passage, and John went on to write, But Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. Also we have come to believe and know that you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. As I read those words, I began to cry. I remember praying, Where can I go, Jesus? What is there in life but you? I'm hurting so much inside, I feel like I could die, but I'm convinced that you have the words of eternal life. I know that you are the Son of the living God. Help me, please. I wish I could tell you that immediately my sorrow of heart left me, but, but it didn't. I struggled for some time after, but the struggle changed. I no longer felt like a helpless victim of circumstance, no longer felt abandoned by God. I understood that the victory that would overcome the world would be faith, faith in a loving God who would walk with me through the valley of the shadow of death. My healing came through surrendering to God's word, receiving God's promise to be with me and to never leave me. Today, if you're hurting, feeling low, trust in the promises of God, return to his word. After all, where can you go? He has the words of eternal life. This is Pastor David Rosales of Calvary Chapel of the Chino Valley, California.